This project is about the farmers using web. Uh, this uh, project is about uh, new technology. And when uh, we start uh, thinking about this, there was such situation. Uh, precision farming, it is a new uh, it is uh, new agriculture or relatively new agriculture methodology. It was introduced in uh, 90s and mainly was pushed by producer of uh, big agriculture machinery. Uh, the idea is that you will not fertilize the field with the same level of uh, methods, uh, but you will put to any place of the field such many uh, fertilization which is necessary. And uh, this uh, methodology was uh, at the beginning pushed with a uh, big producer of agriculture machinery, John Deere, Echo, Class, all put to their machinery, uh, very expensive computers, uh, very expensive uh, uh, systems, and also offer uh, to farmers some black boxes uh, to be able to manage this uh, kind of the work. But uh, this uh, first step asks many new things. At the beginning, there was big enthusiasm. But uh, after two, three years, uh, uh, this things change and the interest uh, uh, was lower. Uh, why? It is uh, in many cases very difficult for farmers to do this alone. It is uh, many difficult uh, to uh, manage this work and uh, uh, not all farmers are able to solve uh, such uh, kind of problem. Uh, we try also in this first period develop some our system uh, for farmer, but uh, we didn't succeed with this system. And then uh, we uh, found uh, in our country one company, uh, it is MGM, who offered to farmers uh, services, uh, uh, not uh, give them uh, some data or something but uh, uh, to manage uh, such kind of fertilization for them and uh, their job start uh, grow and we start discussion how how we will continue how we can improve uh, this uh, situation because uh, we need to communicate with farmers we need to provide uh, data analysis uh, for farmers and we need also to learn farmers uh, how to use this uh, new methodology and so we suggest, okay, we will start uh, completely new and we will build some uh, uh, common working place where you will be able to communicate with farmers, when you will be able to exchange the data with the farmers and when you will be also able to provide analysis and um, uh, give uh, uh, the data to farmers or your workers will be able to offer services uh, to the farmers. And uh, we start to prepare uh, this project Prematmod and we succeed with uh, this project, we, uh, uh, there were the group, uh, the core group of wireless info, but we invited also producers of uh, uh, computers uh, for agriculture machinery from Germany and uh, other organizations from Germany who made similar services and similar organization from Italy. And we start um, to thinking how to improve all of these processes and how uh, to prepare farmers for next uh, step. Because uh, there is a lot of things. On one side, you uh, need to improve uh, the methodology of collection of data. Uh, I demonstrated before some possibilities, but you have the data. And uh, how you recognize which data are valid for your work? How to recognize uh, which data will be the best to use? And also, uh, there's important things, uh, uh, how to manage this fertilization, because there exist different models. Some people recommend it, um, uh, fertilize the places where it's a big crop, production because you can improve. Uh, other people say uh, fertilize more, very slow production because you uh, need to uh, increase this part or there are models which try uh, to min mi minimize the amount of fertilizer and uh, 
but to have uh, the big production. So there exists a lot of models and uh, for farmers it's difficult to understand. So we start to thinking about the system which is complex, which uh, will be able uh, to give farmers uh, information, but which will be also able to learn uh, farmers uh, how to do, to, to understand. So there is the idea to have the possibility to work from the terrain uh, to uh, have the data on the server and to communicate uh, with the farmer, to, uh, to communicate for example for data sampling, to, to communicate with the harvesting machine uh, and then if you prepare final recommendation to uh, give uh, this information uh, to machine which provided uh, fertilization. So important was how uh, to mo move from uh, data to information. What are data? You collected some samples in the field and you have uh, uh, the position of the sample and um, uh, you have uh, the content of different nutrients in this position. This is first step. You need to prepare uh, some maps which uh, uh, give you information about the distribution of uh, um, uh, fertilization in all field and then in the combination with other sources of information offer to farmer some knowledge uh, what amount of uh, fertilizer to put in uh, this uh, field and uh, you are able to uh, collect it or obtain this information uh, from many sources so you need uh, to discuss how to do this, how to find the best data and uh, what could be uh, the best model. So we start thinking from the beginning and uh, uh, we, we recognize one very important thing. We start with process modeling and one from the uh, problem of precision farming was such that for single uh, farmer, it, all process is too expensive. He needs to buy new technology, he needs to learn a lot of uh, and he need to invest uh, to software and this investment all are fixed cost if you are big farmers okay this fixed cost is low uh, if you are small farmer you never are be able profitable so we recognize that really the model when they are ser uh, service organization which uh, are helping to the farmers uh, could introduce this new technology to small farmers then what uh, what we have uh, to done we need uh, we had uh, to find some possibility how to provide the modeling how to calculate from this data uh, this amount of uh, fertilization and uh, how uh, to be able also manage this data because uh, now uh, in our server is from Czech Republic uh, more than 200,000 uh, uh, of hectare of different data of farmers from some farms there are data already from uh, six years it is a big amount of data and you need to have a, a very good description of all this data and of course it's also necessary say to prepare uh, the people to work uh, with uh, uh, all this solution. Uh, so we uh, start design uh, the solution uh, complex system on the web which uh, could be used by uh, service organization and, uh, or consultancy organization and which uh, could provide analysis if you will offer to farmer for example possibility to analyze satellite imagery you will say, why? What I will do with this? I need information, but I am not expert in satellite imagery. We look how it could be communicated and how uh, there is possibility to exchange information. Here you can see uh, some examples of uh, data. These are the data from uh, soil sampling. Here you can see uh, the, the data uh, from yield monitoring or you can have the data from uh, infrared uh, or uh, panchromatic picture and uh, you have a lot of such data and you need to use this data and on the final stage the farmer need to know what to do. In the design of our system was um, uh, to design the metadata system which is able to manage our data and uh, where you are able easily find any data in your system. In this stage we use uh, the Dublin core data, now we move to ISO standard uh, uh, ISO uh, um, 19115, I will show a little about this later. And uh, we use the map server as the tool for um, uh, displaying of the data and for communication with the farm. 
farmers because uh, farmers are able to put information about crop rotation, about uh, or say no, I don't agree with this fertilization through this uh, simple interface. But Map Server is mainly a visualization tool. We need uh, to combine this with some analytical. We decided to use grass system. It is also open source, and we. Uh, put on the server grass behind the map server uh, we implement to the user interface the tools of grass and specialists are able to call the different functions from the grass and display the this information um, to uh, uh, the farmers. Uh, we develop also tools for education and special lecture where we uh, explain to the farmers how to work with such system and how to communicate with uh, uh, such uh, system. We try to learn them uh, on their own data because if you will put, give to farmer uh, some data from area in Germany uh, he will not be interesting to learn. He uh, want to learn on his own data because uh, he understand uh, to this field, but uh, he uh, don't know what is uh, uh, in these different countries. So uh, we develop some special tool how uh, we can manage his work with uh, special data. And here you can see how is the developing of uh, the utilization of this uh, system. Uh, currently uh, is uh, already more than um, 200,000 hectare uh, in our server and I think that MGM is uh, the biggest uh, now the biggest service organization in Europe who offer precision farming and I think that it is comparable with some biggest organization who do this in uh, USA here you can see simple uh, interface for farmers where farmer um, communicate obtain information uh, start the different statistics uh, about the cost and Etc. And here uh, you can see how you can define, how you can provide it analysis. You can uh, select some specific functions and, uh, for example, provide uh, classification on the web. Uh, we were surprised how fast uh, could run this functionality. Or you can build the maps from samples and provided some 3D visualization. This work again continues with other projects. This is project uh, where we uh, are now cooperating with European Space Agency and the goal is extended these models also partly through winery, for winery. And uh, more and more we are focused on so called collaborative uh, model of the work when really different specialists are able to use common workplace uh, where are used uh, to cooperate together. The base for this is service-oriented architecture and service is on the two levels, on the level of uh, uh, some relation between the people, that there are some people who offer uh, services and who are users of services, but it is also on the level of uh, um, communication, um, uh, human computer, that some uh, computer uh, uh, on some place on the web offer services, or it could be also on the level of uh, uh, the relation between two computers. Here you can see a new scheme, which is now designed for this new system, which uh, is uh, next version of the solution, and uh, where we cooperate with European Space agency. As I mentioned, we move to uh, uh, ISO standard of metadata because uh, this is the standard which is now recommended as the standard in the European Union and farmers in future will be not only exchange the information between farmers and service organization but now more and more important start to be traceability when farmers exchange information for example with supermarkets or with government and to be possible to do this you need uh, you need some standardization so we decided for this uh, standard metadata if you will be interesting we can demonstrate and here you can see some things what is the newest in uh, our application and what uh, now we introduced this year and uh, what uh, we plan extended this next year is uh, to uh, provide it uh, uh, collection of area uh, infrared pictures and uh, it is mainly for application of uh, nitrogen and uh, especially here it is uh, very uh, stressed because you you need one day made these pictures and you need a second day provided fertilization because uh, the content of nitrogen uh, is changed very fastly so there is necessary to have such processes which are able to manage uh, this work and which are able uh, to make communication between uh, the services and farmers easy.
we continue about the education we now continue also with other project which is uh, nature net and the goal is supported learning about european sustainability and also here we uh, continue with the work about this uh, web services and uh, now you can see the satellite data or land cover data uh, from all europe which are uh, prepared for training mainly about uh, land use management what is the next step what we are now doing inside of european projects so thank you very much for your attention